Hello. Um, Melissa told me she'd be back from her sister's party uh, around midnight. And I'll check the time when I sit down, but we're pretty much there. Uh, 11.43. So, if this video goes over 20 minutes, and she doesn't walk in in the middle of it. Um, she's late, and I guess that's not a big deal. Um, but if she does walk in, it'll be kind of cool. Just, uh, I think it'll be interesting for the video. Uh, so yeah, it's 11.43 p.m. Uh, I've posted four uh, practice videos today. It's Saturday, uh, the 27th, 2014. And I'm learning how to not talk during these things. <laughs> If you're curious what I'm doing, well, I mean, just talk to me, I guess, and ask me what I'm doing, but um, uh, most of my method of practice has been explained. So I won't do it again, and you can just watch me do these things. seen something different here. I can actually feel the fret being fully pushed down, something I wasn't consciously aware of before. act between um, the sensation of the, the fret being fully pushed down and the pain that it causes me. And I was told if I get a, something called a setup, uh, stuff like this will be a lot easier to do. Uh, but I guess it's almost better that it's harder to do. Um, like, I think with exercise, the idea is if you lift more weight than you're usually accustomed to, um, when you need to lift a less amount of weight, it's easier. I don't know. I, I'm not sure what I'm trying to say, but there's, there's something to the idea of doing something more difficult. Um, so it becomes easier later on. Um, I'm pretty sure that's an established idea. See, 
this the the first string is really easy to push down that I've been practicing um, a lot for a beginner. I was thinking earlier how like established musicians probably practice it's not unusual to practice like six hours. Um, for a beginner I need to develop the calluses. I think I have the motivation to practice longer but um, yeah, uh, my fingers need to change, or I guess I could put things on top of them, but then, yeah, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> and now I'm feeling like a s the pain's getting more intense, and I don't think I'm going to cause myself to bleed. Um, but I'm definitely going faster. I mean, I mean, I'm practicing more than um, would probably be recommended for someone at my level. <laughs> So this will be my, well, I don't know if I'll count this as Saturday or Sunday since it's hopefully going to push through past midnight. I am started at 11.43. Uh, let's look at the chart. Oh, I was thinking of restarting my computer too because YouTube was doing something. So this is D7. And a C major. Yeah, see, so I'm feeling the pain. C major, is that open? point a week or two ago when C major was just a little bit beyond me and as you can see there um, I made some mistakes but I got it more or less <clears throat> it's amazing how quickly you go through those seven chords uh, well, 8 if you count the D7, but the D7 I had to refer to the chart. But it, it doesn't feel like you just, like I just did 7 different chords. Um, it feels like it's less, I don't know. It feels like I'm forgetting something. But the one that I've been putting off, and I always put off, is... G major and of course my pinky finger you've heard this all before so what if I go all the way up there my pinky finger just doesn't want to do it. See, it's the right balance. And I've seen G major expressed in a different shape. But I think I'm muting something. It's, it's very... What if I come from... 
top. Is, is this something that you can do? And then what would the rest be? Where are you? Okay. Then this would be here. <laughs> no. What would this be like? <laughs> yeah. I think coming from... I, I mean, I, I guess there's no official policy that you can't come from the top. Or the bottom as since that's the sixth string. Let's try this thing where... Okay. So there. But then... If I do that, can't do that. If I do that... I think that's how you're supposed to bar a cut. That's like, there's something like doing a bar where, let's see if I can, and I've seen there's special clips. I've seen them. I've seen them. So you can do something like that. <laughs> Someone said doing that is very hard. Let's do it lower. And she said sometimes just muting it has has the same effect. That's kind of interesting. That's an interesting sound. videos I haven't experimented with going down here yet. Um, I don't know any shapes that apply to this part of the guitar, but those are some interesting sounds, or at least they're different sounds than the ones I'm getting up here. sounds like it's a proper thing, but I'm, I'm muting things. It's not proper. <laughs> what if I go up there? See, I could complain my fingers aren't long enough, but I really don't think that's the case. And I think the more you complain about not being able to do a specific thing on the guitar, the better the chance that someone will, like assuming you were learning guitar in a social situation and not just teaching yourself like I kind of am, um, someone's going to tell you to buy a bass and then you become the bassist and I don't know how you become the drummer but I think a lot of people genuinely enjoy the drums and I've I, I love bass sound I just know a lot of bassists or I think I know who say they were basically tricked into it and, uh, yeah, whatever, yeah, I, there's probably bassists who are happy to be bassists, but 
you get so far with the bass and realize it's more limited than the guitar. And then of course you could get a more complicated guitar if you want to go in the other direction. So. What if we do that? <laughs> pinky and that and that and that and that and that. So that's just how I figured out how to do it right now. I think I may have done that a few days ago and then fell, fell asleep and forgot that's what I did. But um, I guess that's an option and I think I played it right. Viewers at home can probably tell me if that was the right sound. And I think I'm in key. I just tuned it like hours ago. Um, so yeah, some other A7. The temptation with A7 is to, there's no numbering on uh, my graph here. Uh, the first eight chords um, that I know the best, there's numbering as to where to put your fingers. But these uh, sevenths, whatever you call them, uh, there's no numbering, so it's up to you to decide. So with A7, uh, I remember from last time that temptation is to use your index and your middle finger. Let's see what that sounds like. Yeah, so just if I practiced I could do, do it like that correctly. But I think what's a lot easier is your middle finger and your index finger at least for my hands. Um, at least with my hands. I guess those are my longest fingers, but they just bend correctly. Uh, so C7 I'm just going to completely ignore during this practice. I, I don't. When I'm well, when I'm rested, I'll try C7. But um, it, it's, it's basically a headache. <laughs> and the rest of them are pretty straightforward, I think, except for maybe G7. But let's do E7. Where we go like this and then like this. this is practice.
practice is repetition, and just because you got something good the first time you repetized. So I think this is how I have to do, if you can see. This is how I do the chord that I am G7. So G major is hard. I feel like this is this is correct. Let's see. It's G7, and it doesn't sound great to me. Um, what if I moved this? Okay, so I didn't know moving this had that much of an effect. So, let's go through some of the easy stuff. so much of an effect. Um, I mostly just moved this around because of the static hum of the, um, the amp. And then I have uh, these two tone, these are two tone things that you can turn around. Um, and I basically haven't been playing with that either. I've been lear learning chords. So at this point in the practice, I'm going to jump around. the other way around. No, no wonder it's the other way around. mistakes they get stuck into your memory but I'm not too worried about it right now I'm basically assuming that d7 is so easy I just know it 
when I don't actually have it memorized. So, what are we doing here? Feels like my hands are warping. I had that and then that, that and then that. <laughs> yeah, G is, um, so what am I going to do, get calluses here? Maybe I will. Uh, but that was closer than what I usually do, so. It's okay. Uh, I'm still here and I'm still awake and I'll be here. Yes. I love you. Yes. <laughs> yes, I am. I am as well. Okay. I love you too. Bye-bye. So that was Melissa and she said she'll be 10 minutes. just keep working at this until Melissa gets here because I thought that was going to be the fun part of the video. I guess the phone call was fun. Uh, you probably you probably didn't hear what she was saying, um, but you get the gist. She's late. She's coming. She'll be here soon. But I'll just work on this part briefly and then turn off the camera. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
So yeah, all of those things are supposed to, he said if you like work on them for a long time, it helps you with improvisation. And uh, I think I probably haven't worked on them long enough because I'm not, <laughs> I, I haven't really tried to improvise either, but that's. same strum over and over and it's like the is this working strum is this working strum uh, so it might sound a little ugly I don't know um, so I I've I used to pick it up like this well even not even holding the bottom uh, see, I, I'm not even holding the bottom just picking it up like this but uh, I've developed, I'm developing a habit of picking it up like this, and I guess ideally I would hold the bottom as well, uh, just because I think the neck is delicate, and my friend told me it's already bent, but I, I can't really see it, but I... I have bad eyes, I have bad ears. I mean, I don't have a, I have no, there's nothing wrong with my hearing. My mom has a uh, hearing loss, uh, so I can hear, but they call it like musician's ears or whatever. So, hold on. <laughs> some variations. I don't know. She'll be here any minute. Goodbye.